All right, a couple minutes, another edition of Against the Ropes. Rich Quinone is here with the always feisty and gritty Roberto Arizadi, 2-0-1. I got to tell you something. You started your career with a draw. You've won two in a row. You've getting your feet wet a little bit. I know we're going to see you in action a couple weeks. Tell us about uh, your fight, what's going on, and how training's been. Well, right now, we're trying to figure out the date, the official date of my next uh, um, bout. It's probably going to be September the 19th in the Joey Yard Park. In the Harris Casino. That's pretty much like my backyard right now. So, I'm kind of trying to figure out my opponent. And I'm willing to fight whoever. I'm willing to fight whoever. I'm just here and training every day. And I'm just waiting for an opportunity. Anything you're doing differently this camp? Anything you're working on? Any, any certain techniques that you've taken away from your last two fights? Both have been some W's, but anything you worked on specifically? Um, to try to... I'm pretty much like a slow starter, so I'm trying to like pick up my pace as soon as the bell rings. Try to, because I know in Philly you have to be an aggressor. You can't have like a defensive style. You gotta be aggressive. You gotta come forward. So I'm trying to work on that. Is this gonna be four or six rounder? Um, this one's gonna be four, and I'm trying to work my way up to a six rounder. Probably like in the next two fights, I'll, I'll be in a six round. And I see right here we're in Victory Gym, so we're in Cherry Hill. So you're hanging out with Nick. You're hanging out with Carl. Carlos doing some sparring with Carlos. I know he's getting ready to make his pro debut in a couple weeks. What, if you had a scouting report, what are some of the good things you see out of him? Out of the Carlos? Oh, Carlos are all the time just beast, man. He's just like, I seen him from like a wrestler to, he started his like wrestling career, but then he transformed to a boxer. I seen him like pretty much like, made himself a better fighter as he went along. Like he has more um, amateur fights than me, but I have more experience than him. But I see him like more more technical, more like focused on his game plan in every every fight. Going back to you for a moment, do, do you feel that since a couple of your fights have been four rounders and you're still young in your career, do you even look at a feeling out process in that first round? Because you're kind of an aggressive fighter. Once you once you once you start to let your hands go a little bit, you like to mix it up. Yeah. Really, I, would, I just like to see my opponent, his reaction of what he throws, like try to, because I'm, I'm pretty much, I could, I could box, I could counter punch, I could brawl, I could do whatever, I could like go forward, go backwards, fight backwards, all around. And pretty much I try to fill my opponent out, try to feel like if he's powerful or not, then go from there. Any shout outs before we let you get out of here? Shout out to my, my gym victory boxing, Terry Hill. Come, come here, you're welcome to come. Join our gym. We're pretty much the best gym in South Jersey. And my, my trainer, Nick, Nick Rosario. Shout out to him. Shout out to Carlos. My whole gym in general. All right, we'll see you in a couple weeks. All right, thank you.